Hey everyone, welcome, welcome back here to my channel where I play Plants 2. My name is Nissa and this will be my first preview of a animal for the new Grassland DLC. However, we do not have a lot of news from Frontier, so I found some of my own. I will do a little bit of reading here, I will get some facts about it, we will look at it, but I won't get into too many details because that will come in my I make my speed build for the animals. So it, this will be short, cute, and I will try to keep it that way. Um, but first, let's just see it again. We have both this small video clip and we have a um, picture we will look at afterwards. So here we have it. Of course, it's very, very, very cute. Um, I'm not sure if I put on the music in here. No, you won't get the music, I think. Um, yeah, it's already gone. It's already gone. I don't think... Yeah, we see it again here. What I really like, again, I look at a lot of the mods. I do not look at all of the animals just as closely. But I do really, as I said in my first video looking at this, I love the hairs in here and down here. Again, it is an animal with fur the armor is protection it's is still it's not their skin precisely it is more like a horned a uh, horn texture um also i have the bands down here as far as i remember it's not supposed to be nine exactly uh, but i'm not sure about that i i haven't found anything about that um, we have a little weirdness going on here with something very dark there. Um, but besides that, you can see the wrinkle in the skin. And this is actual skin texture. A little rough skin. Um, again, much softer than other places where it has skin because it isn't protective skin. We have multiple kinds of skin in nature. And this just have more like a softness to it in here as far as i am aware because the protectiveness for this animal would be more like sorry you can't see it at all does this help yeah this helps a lot sorry about that um the, it needs to be protected for animals that are bigger than itself therefore coming from a top or like really, really large birds would be what I thought would be most dangerous for it. Um, so therefore we have the armor part up here. Back of the net. It actually have a soft part right in here. That if a predator would get right in there, it is still... Oh, but most of the body need this, uh, again, horn-like texture to protect itself. But in here, they aren't that often attacked from underneath but therefore they won't need the same amount of armor but as you can see the arms and hands kind of have the same texture as the shield um want to go out here this is if you is it here i use this one no it's not sorry um this is an Amelia. This is where I get the most of the information I, I use because it is a really good website. It's easy to understand. It got things like lined up in a really easy way. The language is so I understand it. There's a lot of good websites out there that are a little too technical that I sometimes they use words that I have to go elsewhere and look up. So therefore, I really like this. Um, I thought they were closely re related to the um, Chinese pangolins or pangolins overall, as well as the artwork. But looking at the, their order here, a family I already looked at, but even if you look at the order, that is bigger than family is a group under order. You can see here, it's all armadillos. Uh, so they have a pretty good section. We have the picture. Uh, but otherwise, Amadillo, Amadillo, Amadillo. So they are actually pretty far related for anything that isn't a um, Amadillo. And I just want to say, Disipus, uh, Novem, Kintus. Yeah, this part, awful. But Desipus, that looks 
that sounds so cute. I kind of like that. Um, here it have. Uh, where was it? I saw it here. It have large pointed ears. We can see that and pig like teeth. Pigs have these kind of pointy teeth in all directions that are kind of thick and kind of are shaped like a drinking horn. Not as triangular, but kind of get that feeling to it. So I guess they can actually bite very hard if they feel like it. We have a few pictures down here, of course. And then here we can see where they actually live, which will be in South American and the Caribbean islands. Uh, more specifically, Argentina, Belize, Bolivia, Brazil, Colombia, Costa Rica, Ecuador, El Salvador, Grenada, I think, Guatemala, Guana, Guana, sorry, Honduras, Mexico, uh, Nicaragua, Pan Panama, Paraguay, Peru, Suriname, Trinidad and Tobago, United States, Uruguay, and Venezuela. When we go down here again, as I mentioned before my channel, this is biomes and this is climate zones. This is not the same. I know uh, Frontier have missed it up in Planet Zoo because grassland and tropical and temperate are placed like the same thing. And they are not. Um, but they live, of course, uh, on the grassland, which is the grassland pack. But also places like savannah is also what we think about with uh, grasslands, scrubland, woodlands, uh, suburban, urban wildlife. So they could technically live inside of a city, like a rodent or something like that. Riparian, agricultural, arthropod. Genic <laughs> biomes, forest, and rainforest. So they are very widespread and they do live in tropical and temperate uh, climate zones. Um, very cute. I won't go into the habitats right now. Uh, the diet is it's uh, insectivores, which is a subcategory of carnivores. So meaning that they eat mainly insects. Uh, digging their snout into loose soil, their long sticky tongue helps grab and scrubs worms and termites, rubbing them up in their tongue. It's kind of like an ant eater way to eat. Mating happens, we will have time for that later. And here they are luckily at least concerned animal according to the IUCN red list. Anyway, this wasn't five minutes, but it was short and I hope it was cute. Uh, I hope this helped you get an idea of what to build for this animal. Because I think that's what a lot of us are going to think of these days. Anyway, do you have any really good idea about armadillos? Uh, write them below. Do you have any fun facts? Because I'm pretty sure we have some. No, we don't have fun facts for the armadillo in here. So if you have one, comment section below. Anyway, guys, you know the drill. Like, subscribe, and turn on the bell notification so you know the next time I upload a video. Really hope to see you again. Atlanta comes below or in the next video. Bye, guys.